Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash untitled. There's over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Welcome to the Untitled Quiz Show. I'm Sophie. And I'm Ross. And we are on 68th and Broadway to play some trivia. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so much. I planned it in my head as soon as you asked me to start it. A couple of uh, people on our turf right now giving out free tickets to movies. It's going to be difficult. We should send them a message. They literally have a megaphone, which isn't helpful. Yeah. A megaphone. A megaphone and... We're, we're only giving away $5 off a movie. They're giving away a free movie. And it's not even out yet. So it's, competition is tough right now, guys. Yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to go get the free movie ticket. I'll leave you to this. Oh. Traitor. Right. Who should we ask? Who should we ask? Who should we ask? Who should we ask? Well, lots of people walking by. For sure. For sure, for sure. For sure. For Getting show. that for show. Getting that for show. Name that film. On Twitter, let us know. Do you know? We, we're gonna drop some. We're gonna. Mouth it to me. We, we're gonna. Okay, cool. We, we're gonna uh, drop some film quotes naturally into conversation throughout this podcast, and you're gonna tweet us which ones they were. And if they were unintentional, then you get double points. If if we didn't even know we quoted a film, then you're gonna get ten gold points. And I don't know. You also have to give us the time in the podcast that we quoted it so we don't well, have to listen the to the quote, whole thing just the quote but we want to know that we actually did uh, quote it yeah, that's not true. just like oh guys we uh you just quoted gone with the wind when we definitely didn't quote gone yeah, with the wind yeah we definitely didn't i say frankly I ross say frankly, i don't give dear. a dare. i do say frankly my dear sometimes we just both made the joke yeah in a different way true all right we need couples yeah Should we ask this couple the one in the blue shorts. The neon pink shoes, the blue shorts, and the white shirt. I don't think that's a couple. I think that's a mom and a boy. Unless is the it? Guy's older than it looks to me. But judging by the. Oh, the guy is older yeah. than he looks to me. Yeah. Ross is terrible with age. So it'll be 30. And he's like, I he think she's 12. I think he was silhouetted. <laughs> they don't look in a happy mood. Excuse me, guys. Do you want to play movie trivia? No. She was nice, though. Yeah, she was nice. No, thank you. No, thank you. Who are we looking for? Who are we looking for? Looking for people. Did I answer? That, that was correct. Ten points. Here's a couple. She looks very peppy, swinging her hair back and forth like Jan Brady. Yeah, and he's wearing literally what was my school outfit in the summer of 1993 when I was... When you were one years old. So Did you do that math accurately or were you in, a, in yeah. an outfit at one? I wasn't. I wasn't. Excuse me, guys. Do you want to play movie trivia? Thank you. He rolled his eyes before I opened my mouth. I looked at him. They're commenting on us now. Yeah. I want to throw my business cards at them and say, how dare you listen to our podcast. <laughs> Those two guys both look like they have this exact surgery that Mickey Rourke had. They just passed us. Those two guys. <laughs> <laughs> but like they looked oh identical. God. What? That is so horrible. It's horrible. You're implying that it's horrible I'm to have that surgery. That Mickey Rourke is an ugly fuck. <laughs> oh my God. He was better looking pre-surgery. I will say that. Yeah. What's that guy? Hey, that guy. <laughs> that guy is literally going tiny, 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 tiny. Excuse me, guys. Do you want to play movie trivia? No. You want to play? <laughs> the thing is, I think they were more confused than they were not into it. I just think they didn't know what we said. Yeah. That, she, but, you need a partner. She, Sorry. <laughs> She she looked at me and then looked straight through me and then looked away as fast as she could. Yeah. God. And she just tried to promote us. That was nice. Yeah, that was she nice called us famous. I mean, I, I didn't want to say it ourselves, but... Yeah, I mean... I mean, if we're labeling... downloads on <laughs> fucking iTunes, what does that Six mean? reviews. <laughs> I mean, we're bringing in the bucks. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Do you want to play movie trivia? Movie trivia? A podcast. podcast. A podcast? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like that, you, you have good movie knowledge in your brains? I don't. No? Do you? Some, maybe. Okay. <laughs> we need to work together. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's four rounds. You can win a $5 AMC gift card if you win. You have one chance to have a clue and one chance to get one wrong. We can move on if you get it wrong, but then the next time you get one wrong, you're out. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. 
The first question is multiple choice. <laughs> okay. In which biographical movie did Leonardo DiCaprio bring to life the true story of Frank Abagnale Jr.? Was it Basketball Diaries, The Aviator, The Wolf of Wall Street, or Catch Me If You Can? What are you thinking? Catch Me If You Can. Catch Me If You Can. Catch me if you can. What makes you think that? I've seen the movie. <laughs> well, there you go. Because it's right. That's correct. Good job. <laughs> okay, so round two is called Synonym Cinema. So we've taken a movie title, replaced each word with a synonym. For example, if I said existence of 3.14, the answer would be life of pi. Okay. Does that okay. sound good? Yes, that sounds great. Okay. <laughs> the regular accused, 1995. The usual suspects. Great job. You got it right. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, That's there's no point in holding on to that. Okay, the next one is Netflix descriptions. His flight is cancelled. He's desperate to get home. Instead, he gets the worst travelling companion ever. 1987. What do you think? 87? We were two when that <laughs> was made. So, um... Wait, he gets, stu he gets stuck in an airport? Remember, you can ask for a clue if you need it. Can we have a clue? It was directed by John Hughes. John Hughes. Oh, he did like, didn't he do Breakfast Club and Traveling Companion? Wait, so if we skip this one, we're done? If you get this one wrong, you can move to the final round, but that's fine. So you can just make a random guess if you'd like. John Hughes, Traveling Companion. I don't know. I don't know either. We'll tell you the answer. It tells if you recognize the name. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh, I do recognize the name. But I never, it, yeah. I never would have guessed it. Oh, no. no. It's a really good film, so you should check it out. But that's fine. You can move on to the next round. So, have you guys ever played Heads Up? Uh, I thought of Heads Up, Seven Up just now. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> thinks that. Yeah. yeah. So basically, we're going we're gonna to give you a list of ten films, and one of you has to give clues to the other person to get them to name five of those in 60 seconds. Okay. Yeah, who wants to give the clues? Should I give clues? Do you know more films? I, I don't know. Um, you knew the Aviator one, so... Okay, you give clues. Yeah. Okay. One minute on the clock. Okay, okay. Just Hold on, one second. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Coming close. Coming close. 60 yeah. seconds on the clock. Right. Three. Two, one, go! There's a snake in my boot. Toy Story. Yes. One. Um, oh, Summer Lovin' had me. Yes. Yes. Two. Um, okay, it's a movie about the day that we celebrate on July 4th. Independence Day. Yes. Three. Um, oh, uh, uh I want to be like you. Du -du 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 -du. I want to walk like you. Jungle Book. Yes. Um, okay, this is about, this is a movie about a dude that um, can that can shoot webs out of his hands. Spider-Man. Um, We're gonna need you to get one more because you said day in Independence Day, I'm sorry. Uh, 27 uh, The person who's no Yep. Yeah. yeah, you got it, good job, that's yeah. five. We won. Yeah. You won, guys. We won. <laughs> How excited are you? The most excited I've ever been. <laughs> okay. If these were all Disney movies, we would need like another card. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. <laughs> Okay, so this is your prize in here. We've put Yay. our card in there too, so you can listen to the podcast. Oh, good. Thank you, you for you playing. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll share. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so Have a good Bye. one. Fun. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. So <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> no, but as they were walking away, they went, yippee. <laughs> what? As they were walking away, they, went, they both went, yippee. Oh my god, really? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Word? I think so. That was hilarious. Were they Disney? I'm sorry. Were they Disney characters? <laughs> yeah. For all the quiz heads out there listening to the Untitled Quiz Show, Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to give you the opportunity to check out their service. We recommend things like The Princess Bride, which is actually narrated by Rob Reiner himself, which is super cool if you like the film because he directed the film. There's also the Divergent um, series, The Hobbit, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, so tons of book-to-movie movies into books, <laughs> uh, audiobooks out there. So we really think that would be cool for you guys. Check it out and... Keep listening. You're not 84th yeah, Street, the relocation. AMC 84th Street 6, 85th and, 84th and Broadway. Um, 60th and Broadway just sucks. We wanted to give it a go because of the song, but it just is not fun at all. There's not enough people there. No one wants to play. The atmosphere is just really boring. And um, so we're back here. Yeah, these two. S excuse me, guys. Do you want to play movie trivia? 
didn't you see could any of these movies recently, so we're probably gonna get them all. No, wrong. it's a variety of like old and new. I'm gonna get them wrong anyway, but okay. right, let's do it. I think it'd be smart. Okay. Do you trust each other? Oh, are we against each other? No, you work together. Oh, let's work together. Okay, I trust you. We only have that option, Doug. We can't work against each other. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's do it. Okay, what's your name and what's your favorite film? My name is Doug, and my favorite film is The Truman Show. Very cool. And what's your name and what's your favorite film? My name is Bruce and Star Wars. Which one? The first one. But I think the fourth one. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the first round is multiple choice. Okay. Who is the only person to have been nominated for Oscars in the following categories? Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor in a Leading Role, and Best Original Screenplay, all for the same film. Stallone. I, I'm going to give you a multiple choice, don't worry. You can, <laughs> that was... Okay. Clint Eastwood. Orson Welles. Woody Allen. Quentin Tarantino. What do you think? Clint Eastwood. What do you think, Doug? Clint Eastwood, was he a million, million dollar baby? But he wouldn't have won Best Actor for that. True. It was nominated or won? It was nominated for all four of those categories. For Best Actor? Best Actor in a Leading Role. A leading Role in Million Dollar Baby. What about uh, that one where he was like... This was the... the um, fucking... The, 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 with the... With the Rosebud. Stephen Kane. Okay. That. No, dude, it's definitely Clint Eastwood. It's not. Let's go Orson Welles. Wait, let's ask him for... Did you mind play against each other? Yeah. Dude, it's definitely Clint Eastwood. No. Go ahead, dude. Trust me. Um, no, go with the... So who do you think it is? Clint Eastwood. And you think... I think it's Orson Welles. So you got to make a decision, guys. Fine. Arm wrestle? That means one of them's right, dude. I didn't say that. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't matter if we had to make a decision. Bam! Fine, Clint Eastwood. You want to go for Clint Eastwood? It's Orson Welles. It's Orson Welles. You ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you haven't seen movies before like 1990. That's true. <laughs> Sorry about that, but you can move on. Just if you get the next one wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So oh, good. <laughs> the second round is called One Star Review. We've taken a review that someone left for a film on Amazon who hated the film, and you have to guess which film it is about. I probably left the review. <laughs> okay. Not only is it offensive to cripples and the handicapped, but it just isn't entertaining. This movie distorts the history of our nation by placing a half-witted dunce in some of our country's finest moments. 1994. What do you think? Wait, 1994? Yeah. Oh, this isn't multiple choice. No, this is open-ended. Any ideas? Is it, uh, Forrest Gump, maybe. He's crippled. Good guess. Was that 1994? Was that when Forrest Gump came? It was a good movie, though. <laughs> right. A halfway. That's 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 the only thing I can come up with. Because he, yeah. You 100 percent sure? Yeah, because they place him in like moments in history. That's fine. Yeah. That's correct. Good job. Good job, guys. Okay. <laughs> so for the third round, it's release date. We're gonna name four films. You need to tell us which came first, second, third, and last. Does that sound good? Yep. Okay. okay. Four films. Okay, fine. Okay, they're all Robin Williams films. Robin okay. Williams films, I'm sorry. Mrs. Doubtfire, Night at the Museum, The Birdcage, Jumanji. I'm going to hand you a sheet with them all on so you can look at them. Okay. There you I'm go. I'm sure Mrs. Doubtfire is the first one. Yep. Night at the Museum was probably the last one. No, I don't know. Uh, and wait, where's Birdcage? Birdcage is before Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, okay. yeah, I think you're right. Jumanji's, Jumanji's in between Night at the Museum and Mrs. Doubtfire. Right. Yeah, I think that's right. Sorry. I don't know where the birdcage is. I don't know if that was first. I think the birdcage was before uh, Mrs. Doubtfire for some reason. Do you want to go birdcage, Doubtfire, Jumanji, Night at the Museum? Or do you want to take our lifeline here just so we make it to the final round? Is the next round the final round? Yeah. The next round is the final round. for the next one. Okay, so then, yeah, let's use the cue. We have nothing to lose. Yeah. Okay, so the clue is I'm going to tell you one, I'm going to place one of the things for you. Okay. Okay. Jumanji is second. Oh. oh. Really? Did Jumanji come before Mrs. Doubtfire, or is the birdcage? Oh, shoot. Mrs. Doubtfire definitely came before Jumanji. And by definitely, I mean I'm as sure as I was about Clint Eastwood. <laughs> no, no, Mrs. Doubtfire definitely came before Jumanji. In that case, the birdcage would be third, and okay. Night at the Museum would be fourth. I'll do that. Okay, so, right, so, so Mrs. Doubtfire, Mrs. Doubtfire Jumanji, Jumanji, the, the birdcage, cage, Night at the Museum? Night at the Museum yeah. Correct. Good job, guys. Nice. 
So for this round... Uh, one of you has to give clues to guess five films in 60 seconds. Right, I'm, I'll give you clues. No, dude. There's no <laughs> way that you give me... Dude, Clint Eastwood. True. True. So I'll give you clues. Uh, I'll go, it's going to be so embarrassing. <laughs> this whole thing is embarrassing. Okay, so you ready for the final round? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll give you... You're giving the clues? Yeah, I got it. There you go. 60 seconds on the clock, coming close. Sophie's going to count out Ready? when you win. Three, two, one, go. I can show you a world. Uh, I see dead people. Uh, six cents. It's a big tornado. Twister. Jim Caviezel played Jesus. Uh, the Passion. One more. The Passion of the Christ. Uh, Four. This girl has an umbrella, and they do the chimney sweep guys on the roof. And uh, Mary Poppins. Yes. Yes, fine. Got it, guys. Good <laughs> job. And that was the fastest time, I think. That, that was, the, was fastest the fastest time by one second. Yeah. Oh, one second. <laughs> nice. How do you feel about that? He can recite every word to Aladdin front to back, like yeah. literally. Okay, go. <laughs> he really oh, I come from a land from a far away place where the caravan <laughs> camels roam. Where it's flat and immense and the heat, yeah, it's yeah, intense, it's barbaric, but hey, it's home. We're going to watch that when we, when we finish here, yeah. and we're going to test you on that. We're going to listen to it back. Hopefully, it'll overlap completely. Okay, well, thanks for playing, guys. Yeah. You win. You win the five dollars. It's only one, but you can share it between you guys. Cool. You can get, like, concessions, share snacks. Sweet. Our uh, business card's in there, so you can go to the Twitter to listen to the podcast. Sweet. Oh, is it going to be, like, like public? Yeah, it's yeah. public. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you. Good Thanks luck for with playing. Your Twitter. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Do you want to play movie trivia? No? Movie trivia? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah? That intrigues you? What do I get? $5 gift card to Amazon, potentially, if you win. To Amazon? Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry to AMC. We're, we're, sorry, we're, yeah. we're right. poor. <laughs> We're very poor. There's no camera, so all right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so basically, Sophie's going to host it for you, and I'm going to hand the mic over to her now. Thank you. What's your name? Mike. What's your favorite film? Oh, 2001. Okay. What's your name? Danielle. And your favorite film? Oh. Can't even think of one. What did you just see? Mission Impossible. Did you like it? It was great. It was good, right? Yeah, we really we enjoyed it. that. We liked it, too. Uh, so basically, it's four category, four rounds, I should say. You get one chance to die and move on. Oh, you don't want to help? Okay. Well, you can help if you think you know it. Participation in the final round. That's, That's all. Um, and you get one lifeline, which is we can give you a clue. All right. all right. So this first round is multiple choice. Which actor played both main characters in the 1991 action flick Double Impact? Jean-Claude Van Damme, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Steven Seagal, or Dolph Lundgren? I'm going with... Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. What makes you say? Uh, I've seen Double Impact. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that, that's good logic. Yeah. This next round is called Synonym Cinema. We're going to give you the synonym to the movie title, and you just have to guess what the real title is. Phantom Breakers, 1984. Uh, I got nothing. You want to... <laughs> What's that in where? Yeah, your lifeline? Yeah. An all-female remake is set to come out in oh, 2016. Ghostbusters. Is that your final answer? Yes. You agree? Yes. That's correct. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> they get worse than that, by the way. Um, this next category, which is the final one before the final round, is Netflix description. We're going to give you the description of a film the way Netflix describes it. You just have to guess the film. What do you do when you're a girl in a man's dynasty? Cut off your ponytail, defy your destiny, and become warrior legend, 1998. Ponytail? Cut off your ponytail. <laughs> mm. No, nothing. Oh, I'm clueless. Clueless? Well, technically you can no. just... Clueless is not the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, can, you can just take your life here, but if you want to guess, we'd appreciate it. What year again? 1998. I got nothing. Uh, what's um, G.I. Jane? Oh, I'm good. I'm going with that. Is that your final answer? It's actually Mulan. I didn't see it. Okay. So this final round is basically, have you ever played Heads Up? Heads Up. Basically, you, one of you will give the clues to five films. The other person has to guess them in 60 seconds, though. Okay. So you're going to give the clues? I'll give the clues. Oh, you're giving the clues. Uh-oh. 
I should give the clues because you're getting this shit. <laughs> Okay, so we'll set the timer. You have 60 seconds. Any five. You don't have to go in order. All right. Gay Tom. Hey. Wait, wait, not yet, not yet. We won't use that one then. Why we have to. We have a timer. Wait, why? Oh, because and I, now I can't use it. <laughs> oh. Just give a different clue. Oh, my God. I can't even think of the title. Uh, okay, I'm going to count you in quickly so you don't waste time. One, two, three. Children's toys, like little blocks that you put together. Lego. Yeah. Uh, Land? Lego Land. Lego. Oh, this thing. They made, they made one of these about it. A movie. Yeah. Leg, the Lego Those movie. There you go. All right. Uh, giant lizard in Japan. Godzilla. Uh huh. Uh. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Elsa. I didn't see this. You Frozen. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Two more. How many more? Uh. Uh. A dozen. Oh shit. Um. A dozen. Oh god. Not east, but... West? Yep. Um, dozen. No, no, no. Forget the dozen. Oh. Uh, west? Oh, fuck. Uh-uh. uh, -uh. uh, -uh. Yeah, pass. Oh, forget it. Ten seconds. I can't get two more in ten seconds. Twenty seconds. All right. Oh, I'm so sorry. What was that one? Well, I was trying to do 12 Years a Slave, and then I was like, oh, uh-uh. And then West Side Story. Oh, I'm sorry, but you guys did really you well. Did really good. You did really it was really good. good. So we'll give you a business card if you want to check out the podcast. Sure, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it depends how well tonight goes. All right. so. Well, I hope the rest of them go better. Thank. No, it was great. It was great. It was good. Thank it was you. Good, good job. Thanks. Nice to Bye. meet you. Bye. Nice to I'll meet you. you. <laughs> you want to you play movie trivia? You want to play movie trivia? Do you know movies? <laughs> oh, yeah, you need a partner if you... Uh... Christine, no, Christine sucks. Dante, come here. They can both play. Yeah, you can all play. Oh, we're all playing. We're playing a trivia movie and trivia game. We can watch you. Yeah, we can walk it. We'll, we'll meet you halfway, don't worry. We're playing a movie trivia game. Dante, give me a ball. Movie and trivia game. What's the trivia? Movies. Right, What's the specific movie? All sorts. Are we talking about American no. History X? What are we talking about? If, if we're going to talk, if we're going to talk James Bond, it might, it might come up. I don't know. Okay. So I'm okay. All right. So basically you, you can ask for one clue if you want to and you can, okay. And, uh, you can get one wrong. That's fine. We move on. But if you get the second wrong, you're out. You right? Possibly. You could win a prize. It's a secret. Okay. Okay. Can we all answer the question if possible? You can all answer. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So the first question is multiple choice. Zool in Zoolander, Derek is brainwashed and sent to assassinate the Prime Minister of which country? Is it Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia, Vietnam? Malaysia. You think it's Malaysia? Yeah. Correct. Good job. You think it's Vietnam? He, he no, got it right no. already. Alright, <laughs> 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 ah, so next one. Okay, so the, the second one is called One Star Review. One Star Review, so not, not well received. Well, we're gonna, we, we, <laughs> we're gonna read you a, a review from Amazon for the film. You just need to tell us which film it is. Sure. I watched this movie when I was little. At first I liked it, then they got kidnapped by a creepy kid. Okay, not that bad. And then some creepy character with a doll head and spider-like and spider-like metal leg shows up. Oh my gosh, mom, turn off the TV. This is rated G. I always tried watching it. <laughs> I always tried watching it over again, but I just couldn't get past that character. Toy Story. Oh yeah, you, you got it, good job. I don't know, I've never even seen any movies. You've never seen any movies? May I ask where you're from? Me as a person or the podcast? He's from England. I'm from England. Yeah. I figured as much based on the you know the, the reciprocation you had. Uh, there you go. Okay. Well, one more, and then if you get into the final round, you could win. Okay. Okay. So this is called release date. We're gonna list four films. You need to put them in order from earliest to latest. Oh, no, I got this. We, you got it? Are we, are we open to hearing Dante, it? Stop asking questions. Yes, I got no, it. No, this Dante, is important. I got it. Don't worry. Because I, I I'm very good at this. But I want to make sure that I have the opportunity to list them in order after hearing them. You'll have the opportunity. Oh, then absolutely. Okay. Okay, so they are all Matt Damon films. The Departed. The Born Identity. Saving Private Ryan. We bought a zoo. We bought a zoo. Saving Private Ryan. Born Identity. Born Identity. Yeah, the Departed. Departed. Say that, say that again. The, final one. the Departed is the last one, you think? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So, so just say that one more time for me. 
What, what are the what are the four? Okay. All right, come on. So we have we bought a zoo. No, 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 no. Actually, no, no, no. no. We bought a zoo. That's I've a never lot. seen that, that. That was the most recent, actually. Yeah. So All right. Say, so then it's let's say the born the identity most, no, saving no, no. private saving, Ryan. Saving the, private Ryan was before born identity. All right. Saving, saving private Ryan, Ryan. The born, born identity. identity the departed. departed we, we bought a zoo. That's right, Lancer. That is. That's correct. Good job. Thank you very much. Okay. So you you made it to the final round. So in this round, we're going to give you a list of 10 films. One person has to be the clue giver, and the other two have to guess films. Who wants to be the clue giver? I think, I think Christina should be the clue giver. No, she doesn't know anything about films. All right, Spencer's going to be the clue no, giver. I don't know any movies. The two of us, uh, or yeah, should, I, should I, I be the clue giver? I know the most about films out of the three of us. So let's say I'm going to be the clue giver. <laughs> okay. You tell me what I can and cannot do. Yep. And I'll relay that to these two individuals. Okay. You need to have them name five films. You've got 60 seconds to do it. You can say anything about who was in it, when it came out, what, what it was about. Do I get to see it without yeah. we will, the name? We'll give you, yeah, you just can't mention the name. Or I'm the title. Fair enough. So I'm going to give you this, and then I'm going to set the clock, okay. uh, and then I'm going to count you in, okay? Okay. Are you ready? Okay, face each other. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, go. Paul Walker. Uh, one. Okay. Um... Uh, uh, fucking. <laughs> uh, Seth Rogen. Okay, that's forty films. S Seth Rogen, um, the 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 ultimate the ultimate thing of Seth Rogen's films. Pineapple Express. This is the end. Knocked yes. Up. Okay. Two. So, um, the guy that beats the shit out of everybody else. Uh, he's uh, he 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 hurts somebody. Seconds left. He's he hurts somebody. No. He he hurts. Somebody. With his legs and his arms. Scarface. No. The Hulk. It, it's, it's, it's way more recent. Way more recent. Like, like uh, teenage. Teenage. Skip it. 17 seconds. Teenage hurts them. Teenage he, he does this to, to this vicinity. <laughs> These are the easiest ones in the world. This and then the, okay. this area. Okay, slut in high school. Two. Easy. Time's up. I'm Vampires. sorry, guys. Twilight. <laughs> Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Jesus Christ. Fucking Mark Zuckerberg. Social I network. You network. suck, man. Motherfucker, we got held up. We got held up on like the third done, one I because you couldn't remember. You one. couldn't figure out kick ass. I literally said, he goes, he hurts the individual in their butt. And you go, you fucking suck. You, you just suck him. Dude, you haven't seen any movies. Come on. Do you guys actually I'm have. Do you, do you guys just. Actually, Video That's hysterical. <laughs> and I appreciate that. Well, thanks for playing, guys. <laughs> nice to meet. <laughs> thanks for playing, guys. Thank you very Have a good much. one. Are you from Britain? I am from England. Nice to meet you as well. Are you both from Britain? She's not. She's American. You're from Britain. You're from America. You guys are fucking cool as shit. <laughs> I hope you continue this going forward. Thank you very much for your card. I appreciate it. Thanks, you guys, you guys are very, very friendly people, and I hope you continue doing this. To anybody that looks by, there's, there's, there's nothing to lose. No, you guys, you guys, if nothing else, are gonna continue the trend of New York City you know, extrapolation upon you know uh, featured films. Definitely. Thank you very much. Thank Have a good one. Bye. Have a good one guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, dude. Okay, so that's definitely, that's going, definitely in. going in. That's definitely going in. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to follow us on Twitter, we're at Untitled Quiz. And if you want to leave some reviews on iTunes, that would be fantastic. See you next week. Bye.